good about it. And if I felt that what I was doing was helping somebody instead of hurting hurting one to help the other, then that's that's what I did. I, mine was mainly to help. Mine was mainly to be positive. I, I didn't deal in, in what we can't do. I dealt in what we could do. I heard a gentleman told me one time, he says, you know, don't let the things that you can't do interfere with the things that you can do. That's good. So I found this article when you were sworn in as mayor. <laughs> Could you tell me how you felt at this time? Oh, at this time, I it was uh, it was unbelievable. Really, it's it's hard to describe. I had my two grandbabies there uh, with me, and and Judge Finney came up from Columbia. He was the Chief Justice at the time. Uh, he came up to do the swearing in. I, I felt really, I didn't feel like I had made it, but I felt like I was on my way, that I was I was doing something for the community, I was doing something for for the people, and that everyone could be proud of the job that I had in mind. I wanted to do it. Everything I wanted to do, I wanted to do it so people can be proud of the fact that they were a, a citizen of Swanberg. How long were you there? Uh, it was about <laughs> close to 10 years. Wow. Uh, because Bob Rowell left in the middle of his turn to take a job in Columbia. So I finished out his turn. And then I had two terms of mine. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. What were, or what is like one of the greatest achievements of your time as mayor? Well, one. I think probably the one greatest achievement was the fact that we opened up Main Street. Main Street had been closed and it was a, it, it, it was going to be a mall. They were looking at it being a mall, downtown mall, but it had died. The businesses were gone. So I think the greatest achievement was number one, opening up Main Street, getting the Dennis building in, which was uh, Jerry Richardson's uh, building. He, he built that. He said if, if we could open up the mall, he would build a building. And we did, and he did. And that brought the Panthers to Spartanburg uh, when the Panthers came training camp to Waffle College. And that uh, we moved the two water towers that were downtown. They used to have two water towers down there. That was moved. So there, there were a couple, quite a few things. Because, you know, I don't hold on to them. Uh, they were done. I don't boast about it or say anything about it. But then there were people that they knew uh, that that opened up this. this. Do you have any advice for young people living in Spartanburg right now? Yes, get involved. Uh, my advice for young people is get involved, involved in a positive manner. Uh, we know the things that are wrong. Everybody can see the wrong things. But we need somebody and we need young people to come forward and work on some positive things. Uh, carve out your niche that's that's positive. It says, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build instead of I'm gonna destroy or I don't like this, or, I don't like that. Find out what you like and, and be passionate about it and grow and, and make it grow. And uh, you'll feel a whole lot better about yourself.